Hi! If you follow me on Instagram, I'm pretty sure that by now you know I love going on trips in Ireland and the UK. I love going for a weekend break. I love taking the train to go there. So when Hotel Indigo reached out to me and asked if I wanted to go visit Scotland, go to Glasgow, go to Edinburgh and stay in their beautiful hotels, of course I jumped at the chance. They're also kindly sponsoring this video. I have a discount code in the description. You're gonna see the hotels in this video and you'll get to see what we got up to in this weekend adventure. We had to get up at about 4.30 a.m. to catch our train, so let's go. We've just arrived at our first hotel and our first location. We're in Glasgow, which I actually keep pronouncing weird because I feel like in Dutch you pronounce it slightly differently. So we've just checked in at Hotel Indigo, Glasgow, and the lovely lady who's called Erin, who checked us in, gave us this beautiful map where she'd written down loads of restaurant recommendations and things we should go see. And because we left at 5 a.m., it's actually only about 1 p.m. now, so we will have plenty of time to explore the city today. I'm extra excited about this fridge because we've got some complimentary drinks and some, I think this must be Scottish beer. This is brewed in honor of Glasgow's patron saint uh, and it's also vegan friendly, which is nice. And then here we've got some haggis crisps. Also vegetarian and vegan. I'm definitely gonna try those out. You ready to take on the town? We've just made it to the Lighthouse, which is a museum all about architecture and design, which is right up my street. Goma, uh, Museum of Modern Art, and I definitely got reminded of the fact that I like paintings more than I like sculptures. They had both here. Museums like this are always really good to find some new artists because you can just stumble on a painting and you're like, I like this, and then just memorize it for next time. See, and both museums that we've been to so far are totally free, by the way, so definitely go check those out if you're in Glasgow. But there's a lovely little drizzle going on at the moment, so we are gonna go get lunch. dinner at Mono and now uh, we are walking by the river. I actually, well, I'm sitting by the river now. The River Clyde. Right, so you're not allowed to judge us. We're on the hunt for a deep fried Mars bar. Apparently this is the Glasgow thing to do. We have Googled, we have found a location. It's just, it needs to be done. It has been done. Blue Lagoon has supplied us <laughs> with everything we need. It smells really good actually. Jer's not convinced. What's it like? Like a Mars bar, but with more grease and carbs. Sometimes you want to be local, and sometimes you want to be a tourist. And we've managed to do both. Now it is time for some cocktails at the hotel, and then to bed. It is our second day in Scotland. Yesterday we had the deep fried Mars bar. We had some cocktails at the hotel. Then we went to bed and now it is time for breakfast so we can leave early. We have a couple hours left to go explore. We've left Hotel Indigo Glasgow and then we're gonna go to Edinburgh. Let's go. So behind me you can see the Kell Grove Museum, Kelvin Art Gallery, Kelvin Grove, behind me. <laughs> so behind me you can see the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum. It was massive. We wandered around for maybe like over an hour. If you compare it to London museums, the Natural History Museum meets the V&A. There were statues, there was a whole room of Dutch art, like beautiful Dutch paintings, there were tapestries, there was some Dali, and the building is really beautiful as well. From one beautiful building, 
building to another, we're now at Glasgow University. We've just gotten off the train from Glasgow and we're now in Hotel Indigo, Edinburgh, Princess Street. And this room is right up my alley, obviously. This is incredible. I also wanna show you the view, but first let me show you the room. A little closer look of the books here. Oh, it's so beautiful. Time to test out the bed. <laughs> so again, this room is totally inspired by its surroundings, which we need to go explore now. Also wanted to give you a quick look at the view from our room. Um, that's the train station right there. So we arrived and it was about a two, one minute walk to get here. You might be able to hear the bagpipes in the background. I think it's about seven years since I was in Edinburgh last. So let's go outside. went up the Scott Monument and it was absolutely gorgeous but then there were another like 200 steps to climb so I just gave Jeremy my camera and he got the good footage while I waited downstairs. No visit to Edinburgh is complete without dropping by the Elephant House where J.K. Rowling wrote part of Harry Potter. If you want to go on your own weekend adventure, I actually have a 20% discount code in the description. You can go to any of the Hotel Indigo locations in the UK and Ireland. Edinburgh is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Look at the castle. It's like no other way. We only have literally two hours left, maybe, in Edinburgh. We just had, well, Jared had vegan haggis. I should have ordered vegan haggis, um, but I didn't want us to order the same thing, but it was very delicious. It was pretty good. It was good. Place. Yeah, I would have that very much again. It's kind of like a vegan mock roast. It looks like I'm in a really dark forest now. We're actually on our way to the Botanic Gardens. The very last stop before we get on the like five hour train home, but the view will be amazing, especially with the sunset. So I'm quite excited to do that and catch up with my reading. I hope you enjoyed checking out our adventure. Don't forget to check out the discount code in the description. And again, a massive thanks to Hotel Indigo. We had an amazing time and I can't wait to go back. Thank you for watching. Doi!